So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is always appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, is former unified super bantamweight champion and former featherweight champion of the world, Carl Frampton moving up to super featherweight? Is Carl Frampton moving up to £130? This comes after Carl Frampton has now been removed from the rankings at featherweight and now he is number two with the WBA at super featherweight and this would be a very interesting move by Carl Frampton moving up to his third weight class and it's been rumoured that Carl Frampton was meant to be fighting IBF featherweight champion Lee Selber in a big domestic world title fight and then He's also been talked about facing Oscar Valdez, who is the WBO featherweight champion. And then there's the trilogy fight with Leo Santa Cruz because Carl Frampton had a very good year in 2016. Last year, he defeated Scott Quigg in a domestic world title unification clash. He picked up the IBF and WBA super bantamweight titles and then he quickly dropped them titles to move up to featherweight and he fought Leo Santa Cruz and handed Leo Santa Cruz his first defeat as a professional by beating him by a majority decision in New York and then he fought him in a rematch in Vegas in January of this year and he was handed his first loss as a professional after Leo Santa Cruz edged him in the rematch and won the fight by a majority decision Carl Frampton was the ESPN fighter of the year last year for his wins over Quigg and Leo Santa Cruz and it'd be very interesting if he moved up to £130 the champions at £130 you've got WBC champion Miguel Bajel who is a very hard hitting Mexican fighter who looks very exciting and then you've also got Javonta Davis who's defending his IBF super featherweight title against Liam Walsh next weekend well this weekend coming on Saturday and you've got Vasyl Lomachenko obviously the WBO champion and I think that would be a mega fight for Carl Frampton if he managed to get it that would easily be the toughest fight of Carl Frampton's career like that would surpass the Leo Santa Cruz fight in my opinion because Vasyl Lomachenko is a totally different animal and then you've got Jezreel Corrales, who's the WBA champion, who defeated longtime champion Takashi Uchiyama twice. He beat him by knockout in the first fight and then beat him on a split decision in the second fight. So there are some good fights for Carl Frampton moving up to £130. But I'm thinking, is Carl Frampton moving up for this Lomachenko fight? And... I think that could be a very good fight for Carl Frampton. I could see him easily getting that fight because Carl Frampton is rated highly in the boxing world. Obviously, he was fighting with the year and stuff like that. And I could see somebody like Vasyl Lomachenko fighting Carl Frampton. I see that as being a challenge for Vasyl Lomachenko. Don't get me wrong, I still see Lomachenko being the favourite in that fight. But it'll be his toughest fight. Yeah, I think, apart from somebody like Gary Russell Jr. And, yeah, this is very interesting if Carl Frampton moves up. What do you guys think of this? Comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Boxing.